I'm Rebecca with Quiet Village Landscaping and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about rainscaping today. So we're visiting the Missouri Botanic Garden today to take a look at their larger scale rain garden. But this is something you can do in your own yard. I wanted to kind of mention just what rainscaping is. It's any kind of combination of plantings, swales, catch basins, and permeable pavers that are designed to direct water and hold it in place uh, to allow that water to soak into the ground rather than running into our creeks and stormwater systems. Um, in your own yard, rainscaping can help with a few problems. It can help with erosion control problems. It can help with wet spots in the yard or parts of the yard that are hard to mow. Um, it can also divert water from foundations, patios, things of that sort. People think a lot about rainscaping, they think about rain gardens. Um, a rain garden is basically a shallow depression or swale uh, that's created along with plants, compost, uh, some stonework that again slow that water down and allow it to soak in. What we're seeing is what's considered kind of a combination settling basin and bioswale. Um, basically with a basin, it's kind of the deepest part of the rain garden where you have plantings that is where the water is primarily going to soak in. Um, this one's kind of a combination bioswale and the fact that it moves the water um, from one place to another as well. Uh, we often have bioswales that are kind of our inflows and overflows. Um, here on a larger scale, they have an overflow that's actually piped out of the system, ours being on a smaller scale, uh, basically just run to a lower part of the yard where the water would go anyway. And we do also connect rain barrels, downspouts, things like that to the rain garden to kind of direct that water. So this is a rain garden we did back in 2013 and 2014 in Maplewood. Um, it is one of the earliest ones we did and we took the downspouts um, and disconnected them from the storm and sanitary system. Uh, this flows into the rain garden as long as the French drains that you can't actually see there, but those also flow across the lawn and go into the basin. They empty out there, the sedges help soak up some of that water. We used a combination of two to four inch gravel and some granite boulders to just help this rain garden look a little bit more like a pond than a puddle when it's holding water. We also created a flat space for the clients to have a patio and grow some vegetables. We used permeable pavers here to let the water flow through and then the retaining wall also has a drain system that flows into the rain garden. We have a combination here um, of some Arkansas Blue Star, which is a native, and then non-native Bulls Golden Sedge that helps soak up that water. And then this is an overflow that directs the water away. I'm actually standing in the basin of one of our rain gardens. Uh, this one is one that we planted just this spring, so it's filled in pretty well. Uh, we started by taking a downspout that had been emptying onto the patio, causing the patio to settle. We actually buried that down into the basin, which outlets right here um, where I'm standing. And basically it fills this basin, lets that water soak in rather than running downstream. In a heavier rain, it will overflow through the lily turf uh, filter strip that surrounds the, the garden. Um, this client does have small children, so to make this a little bit more interactive for them, we did put the flagstone path through it so that they can get into the garden. Um, this one is a little bit more kind of traditional and natural uh, than the garden that we looked at in Maplewood and the fact that we just have boulder accents in this one, um, boulders where the water does come through with some velocity, uh, and then mulching this one in. So it uh, looks a little bit more like a traditional landscape. You will see a little less stone though, as here in the next couple of years, these plants start filling in and making this look a little bit more like an established rain garden. And then I'd just like to direct you to a few resources. You can go to the Missouri Botanic Gardens website. They have an online rainscaping guide that will 
walk you step by step on how to decide what kind of rainscaping to put in your yard, how to create a rain garden. You can also check out some of the programs around St. Louis that offer some funding. Um, one is the Deer Creek Watershed Alliance with their cost share program. The other one is MSD's Project Clear with their small grants. Those are a couple places where you can look to, to find more information if you'd like to do some rainscaping in your yard or if you want to call Quiet Village and have us do some rainscaping in your yard.